Tommy, into the hat at the first round of the FA Cup. That's exactly what we wanted and that's what we got. Yeah, I mean, I was really pleased with the way we started the game. I thought we put Bath City on the back foot um, and we knew the way that they wanted to, their route to go was very different to ours. Um, but you've got to respect that and you've got to deal with it. And at times, I thought they put it on us a little bit and uh, we struggled to deal with the first ball. And, mm -hmm. you know, big Alex Fisher's played you know, higher levels and he's... Mm -hmm. He's returned from a, a bad injury, so he was, he was a handful. And the lads in the wide areas can carry the ball very well. So we knew there was a threat, but I, I do think in the first half, we were worthy of more than a one goal lead. Um, so obviously when we lost Christian, um, you know, I think everything's thrown up in the air and you've yeah. got you to reshuffle. And yeah, I understand people behind me and all around the ground scream and change it, change it, change it. But I've got a thing about, you know, I just, I understand we're a man down mm. and me just to change it is impulsively would be the wrong thing to do I like to sit and watch for a little while and, and you know I always try to get two at least two forwards on the pitch when we've only got 10 men on the yeah. pitch and people think that's crackers and, and we went and conceded a goal but it worked because at the end Kai Ollie Scott who we play as Frosty and then Maxi were all combined for the goal so we needed we needed fresher legs because the lads who played the first 60-70 minutes had put in a good shift and their age, their input, their, oh, sorry, their output in the game today meant they wouldn't have been able to do what I wanted them to do in the last 50 minutes. And that would have got me frustrated. So I was really pleased for Max. He's, he's worked so hard um, this season and last season. Um, and he has as much game time as he would have hoped. But his versatility is becoming a, a big thing for us. Yeah, Maxi scoring and of course Ash scoring his first goal as well, which yeah. is brilliant for, well, the whole club in general really, yeah. isn't it? Because they're two lads that have progressed through the academy ranks and, and come into the first team and yeah. started playing and, and now they've got their first senior goals. It's, it's a great moment, isn't it? Delighted. I'm delighted for Ashley. Um, you know, he's hardly put a foot wrong, the lad, since he's come into the mm. first team. I've, I've been really impressed with his everyday approach to, to training. Um, he listens, he's coachable, you know, he's, he's an athletic lad um, and he's got great football ability. So he's very quiet and might, you know, I want him to be a little bit more yeah. robust and, and believe that he should be in the team. Um, and when he's in the team, he needs to demand a little bit more one or two around him sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's, it's brilliant for Richard and everybody in the academy because I said when I come in, I, you know, I, I genuinely believe my, my biggest assets as a football person are recruitment and emerging talent and then I just I believe that a lot of the players here whilst they might have been 23 24 when I got here they're better players now than they were when I got here so you know not just me the coaching staff and everybody who's putting input in need to trust us need to trust we know what we're doing and, and um, I think we're in a better place now than we were this time last year I just hope that this like last season this was the game albeit against Lewis this was the game that got us got the wagon rolling mm. and everybody started getting behind. You know, we went to Swindon after this, but the league form improved. And it improves because we were together. There was not one thing, not one thing at this football club with an, with an ulterior motive or, a, or a, not a, a collective intention. And that, that needs to happen. If the moment that stops, I, there's no good having me here. We need, we need to have a collective intention. Otherwise, you need somebody else in charge. Do you think this can be a springboard now? Because it's you know there's great scenes after that. A last mm. minute winner is always brilliant, isn't it? And it was celebrated well. So do you think that really can push? The yeah, I'm, del forward? I'm delighted for the for the fans, for the ones who travelled to, to Fylde. That's the response I want. You know, I want, last year people forget we won a hell of a lot of games in the ninety odd minute. We take pride yeah. in having the fitness and the the ability to keep going, keep going, believing in what we're doing, believing in the bench. That's a big thing. If you look there, there's four or five changes by the end of the game. So we have the starters and we have the finishers and. Everyone who's gone on again have had a really positive impact. Under, you know, if you, you asked most of the people in that, that stadium after Christian had gone off and five minutes after Bath sort of started putting, the, putting themselves on the front foot, nobody would have backed us to win. Mm. But I believed and uh, I'm absolutely delighted. Delighted for the fans to go home here and then go past my office there screaming again. Brilliant. Yeah, you've got to be proud of the response, haven't you? Because it can be tough when you go down to 10 men. And then I guess when they equalise as well with their first shot on target of the game, that's going to be a bit demoralising, isn't it? Yeah. So to, to turn it around, that's, that's great character. Absolutely. Like you said, Jordy hasn't really had a save to make. You can't put that at his feet. He has a free, free touch in our six or seven yard area. Um, so, you know, they scored the goal. We have to dust ourselves down and get on with it. It's been dead easy for us to sit back and say, OK, let them put the ball in the yeah. box and we'll defend the box and see it out and go down to, you know, Twerton Park 
excuse me, uh, on Tuesday night. But thankfully we're not, we're here. And I do hope people come out and watch us against Derby County because it'll be a different kind of game. Um, but it'll be a game that I know a lot of my lads need. They need the games because you look at Christian McGomer, Mr. Year, rolling many years, he missed 18 months before he come here on loan last season. You know, Lucky Bird hasn't played a lot of games at this level. So I need these games. The club needs these games and I need people to support us. That's their job.